Hey, I'm Ted Vera. Hope you guys are doing great, and welcome back to the channel. In last week's episode, we talked about um, Roly Retro 400S, right? Beautiful, gorgeous, 400-speed black and white film. Yeah, this stuff is gorgeous, man. Packed with grain, right? Grain for days, man. But it's not obnoxious, right? Because this grain structure is so tight that... It gives your photograph kind of like this overall smooth feel to it. Beautiful stuff, man. Yeah, it is a gorgeous film. But on the last video, I did talk about how, you know, I'd kind of gotten spoiled by, yeah, shooting Tri-X, pushing every roll to 1600. If I'm out during the day, just put an ND filter on. If I go out at night, yeah, man, just open it up, right? Cool stuff. So I did want to see, because I do like this Rolly film. I do like the way it looks. And I did want to see if I could get that same kind of uh thing with pushing it to 1600 see how the photographs looked see how you know they would respond to different lighting conditions that kind of thing so i did want to do that it was a little challenging though because yeah man i uh i went to the massive uh massive dev chart online you guys know where that is right yeah this is a chart this is an online website that has the ability to basically give you any kind of development recipe for any kind of film you're shooting, whether you're pushing or pulling it, and whatever developer you're using. Great resource, man. They got the little phone app, too, or iPad app. Um, yeah, nothing, man. Crickets. I went there, and I was looking for any kind of data for pushing it past its box speed, and there was nothing, right? I couldn't find anything other than just developing it at 400. I think I did maybe find some information for if I wanted to pull the film, but I don't, man. I want to push it, right? Yeah, I couldn't find any data online from any of the resources that I can usually check out. So I was going to have to kind of guesstimate, right? Um, you know, the, people use different formulas on pushing film. I've heard some people say, well, for every stop that you push, you know, add two minutes to your development time. Then I've heard other people say, like, double it and then double it once more. So, you know what I decided to do? I kind of just... Yeah, I kind of just use the same development time that I use for Tri-X when I push Tri-X to 1600. Yeah, and I'm using Kodak HC110 Dilution B, and so that's 16 minutes, right? Yeah, so I just tried that. I figured I'd take a chance. I developed the first roll that I had shot at push to 1600, and then it came out great, right? First, first time out of the gate, yeah, it worked. So um, I'll add that information down in the description down below. But I did shoot a few rolls at uh, in various kind of lighting conditions. A lot of stuff at night, right, or indoors, so I could you know take advantage of that 1600 ISO. I'll go ahead and um, show you some of the photographs that I got and kind of talk about the uh, the lighting conditions and and how I feel about this film. Okay. For this first set, I was down at one of my client's shops. They run an independent Porsche service center. And while I was in the shop, yeah, I just got out my film camera, my M6, and shot some Rolly Retro 400S, pushed to 1600. For this next set, yeah, I just stepped outside the shop, and there was this really cool old Chevy out there. Beautiful finish on it, right? And it had just rained. So yeah, man, the water droplets on the on the car, just beautiful stuff, man. Um, no ND filter used on any of this. It wasn't the brightest day out there. For this next set, <laughs> yeah, man, this was a car show, quote unquote. I went to horrible lighting. I was shooting around one eighth, one fifteenth of a second. But man, look at that contrast. This last set, this was part of a series that I did for a zine called 3 a.m., where I would wake up involuntarily at 3 a.m. every morning. Instead of trying to just go back to sleep, I would go downtown and just get some shots for the zine, 3 a.m. All right, Roly Retro 400S, pushed to 1600. What do you guys think? What did you think of the photographs? Is it too moody? 
<laughs> it is it too moody, man? I love moody shots. I love really moody images. I love images that, man, you don't see everything. There is a sense of mystery to it. I like that contrast. It does give me that flexibility, right? If I want to shoot at 1600, yeah, man. It really didn't give me any problems there. I didn't shoot any of that stuff with the uh, ND filter because none of it really required that. So, really retro 400S, pushed to uh, 1600. Man, it just increased the mood factor, right? That moodiness, that kind of mystery to the photographs. See, I do love that. You know, do I want it all the time? I don't know, man. I want to kind of be able to control my level of moodiness, right? But, yeah, I do love that look. And I know that for probably certain projects, I'll be really happy using that film. It really does have a gorgeous look. It is different than anything else I've ever shot. It is uniquely beautiful. That grain, that smoothness to the image, beautiful stuff. Yeah, but let me know what you guys think, right? Because it really matters what you guys want. You know, it matters what you want in your photography, not what I want. <laughs> you know, it matters what you want. What do you want to get out of your images? Do you like that dark, moody stuff? Or is that just a little bit too much for you guys? You know, do you think that you'd want to, you know, play around with that? I am going to leave the, um, like I said, the development uh, information down in the uh, description down below here. Now, I hear that Rodinal is really the developer of choice for this film that people say that they get the best results from using that developer like i said i use hc 110 for everything man so that's what i used and you know the best results well that's subjective too right yeah and this whole thing everything about this is subjective so if you like it and you want to try it i think you should <laughs> it's fun man it looks cool it really does help you tell that story if your story is dark and moody. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's something to consider, huh? Anyway, Rolly Retro 400S pushed to 1600. Works great. I'm so surprised that there's not more data online, you know, regarding development times, any kind of de de development information. Yeah, that just surprised. Am I the only one <laughs> who likes this look, man? No, I don't think so, because I got some good feedback when... Uh, when I first showed these images. <laughs> so I don't know why people don't want to push this film. Try it out, man. It's fun. And it was really fun and exciting because I didn't have the information given to, uh, given to me. I just had to kind of, boy, just take a chance on something. Isn't that cool when it works out? It is, man. It is cool. Anyway, Rolly Retro 400S pushed to 1600. Let me know what you think. Yeah, I'd really like to hear from you. Okay. Hey, if you have any questions about this stuff, let me know. I'll answer anything I can. I'm Ted Vera, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Thanks.